Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. We are going to see today some really basic introduction about machine learning with OpenCV. I have created this code. It is not important that you understand what is in it. We are going just to use it to see a demo. So if you want to test it you can download this code from the link in the description. And let's now start to use it. As you can see, we have some text here. Uh, I will explain that one by one later when we need them. For now, let's just see the commands. So this is what we can press on the keyboard. We can uh, we can start with pressing B to select blue squares. So. Let's now draw something. Now with the mouse we can click wherever we want on the screen and we will have a blue square. And I'm going to draw a few of them somewhere around the screen. Now let's press R for red. So now I'm going to draw around blue, uh, red squares. Now, G for green square. The green square, square will be the new element and it, it is going to be just one. So, a quick explanation. In machine learning, we need to classify the elements. So, we have two families, the blue one and the red ones, they are called family. When we draw, when we've drawn the green one, we introduce, a, we introduce a new element. Now we need to define where does this element belong? Does he belongs to the blue family or to the red family? To do this, we, need, we have some simple algorithm which is called K nearest neighbor. So, as you can understand from the title, it works with the nearest neighbor. And K, this one, is the number of neighbor that we're going to analyze. For example, now K is equals to 1, so simply we can see that the closest element is a blue square so we're just analyzing the closest element we can press C on our keyboard to, to calculate the result and we can see that the result is blue so it is basically saying that the green belongs to the blue family and here you can take a look here we have neighbors so neighbors uh, zero it's when the neighbor is uh, blue or one when the neighbor is red. Now we can change the K to see if anything changed. Let's not only analyze the closest element but the two closest element and again let's press C to calculate. Again the result is blue. Neighbors are 0, 0 which means blue, blue and this one is the distance. So when you adjust the key, the algorithm can change. For example, it's most likely that we think that the green belongs to the blue because it's surrounded by three close blue. Okay. But if you see around, around it's only red elements, many red elements, just three blue and many reds. So is it really right to say that the green belongs to the blue? Let's now change the key instead of two, let's put five and press C to calculate. Still the result is blue. Now we can see that the neighbors, the first three neighbors are 
zero 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 which means blue blue and blue and then one and one which is um, I don't know which one exactly but this red and this red and by the way this is the distance of each element let's what if we try with k equals 6 with k equals 6 uh, let's calculate it's interesting because we have three clothes blue but also three clothes red so it will be easy to say that it's even but it's not it's not because this algorithm takes also the distance as a value so it's true that there are the closest are three reds and three blue but the blue are closest so still the winner is the blue what do you think if is going to happen if we make a greater k let's try let's say for example k equals 7 let's press c to calculate and now with k equals 7 you can see that the red takes over so we have three closest blue but then four reds so it doesn't matter in this case the distance when we have more red than blue so the distance is taken into account only when we, we have even number otherwise not and what else something that you need to know is that it's a good practice to always take an odd number of the key so it could be three five seven or nine for example or even more and so i suggest you to play around with this code and you can move let's move the the element somewhere else and let's press c and you can see how it changes here for example the first closest it's a zero which means blue one then the second is a red one and so on and let's uh, just play around until you have a deeper understanding and other thing that you need to know about this code if you want to start again you can just press D to delete and you can just draw everything from scratch hope this is clear for you all and if you have any question just write a comment and thanks for watching